It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. I had a request. I'm fulfilling a request, so I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, it's on Alan Melvin, who's on the show about seven times and seven different characters. And how he quietly became one of the TV's most recognizable faces. I think we better get a hold of Andy, Gomer says urgently to Barney in the Andy Griffith Show episode, Andy's Vacation. The NF duo had been placed in charge of the jail, while Sheriff Andy takes a rare day off, and with already one dangerous prisoner in the cell, things are going just about how you'd expect. Gesturing to the prisoner, Gomer protests Barney's decision, warning, this feller's a mean one. Playing the prisoner is Alan Melvin, a character actor who today is best known for his comedy roles on the sitcoms like The Brady Bunch and The Phil Silver Show. On the Andy Griffith Show, though, Melvin frequently has, was cast as various tough guys, stepping in as some of Mayberry's biggest menaces. I didn't really play that many heavies in my career besides a guest appearance on Route 66, but I was always a heavy on Andy, Melvin once said. According to interviews quoted on the Andy Griffith Show fan podcast, Two Chairs No Waiting, Melvin said he got cast on the show after befriending the Andy Griffith Show co-creator Aaron Rubin, back when Rubin was writing episodes of The Phil Silver Show, a.k.a. Sergeant Bilko. Uh, Aaron was very helpful in my career, and Bilko was a wonderful experience, he said. On The Phil Silver Show, Melvin played uh, Corporal Steve Henshaw, Appearing in every episode, it was Melvin's only permanent sitcom cast role, but according to the book, The Greatest Sitcoms of All Time, it helped launch Melvin's career, leading him to become one of the finest and most recognized character actors in the history of television. Uh, he met Phil Silvers while both were performing in the Broadway show Stalag 17. Silvers saw him perform and asked him to be on the Phil Silvers show, and that was that. No audition necessary. It was Melvin's energy that drew Silvers to him. Melvin strived to match Silvers on the sitcom. Uh, Phil had this wonderful background in burlesque, he said, and he had this physical thing. He would crank himself up. He'd bust into a scene like we were shot from a gun. This is, this is part of why Melvin said the comedy of Phil Silvers still endures today. A Bilko episode could still be funny 50 years from now, Melvin said. Funny is funny. It's as simple as that. After the Phil Silver show ended in 59, Melvin's next major TV role, would come on Route 66 in 1961, followed by the appearances on The Andy Griffith Show starting in 1962. Although he only guest starred in eight episodes of The Andy Griffith Show, Melvin is quoted on Two Chairs No Waiting as saying, it seemed like I was on it a lot more than I was, perhaps because we saw him in different seasons from the second to the eighth. The Andy Griffith Show roles gave him steady work and regular visibility on one of the most popular TV shows in the country. I always enjoyed doing the show, Melvin said. We had a lot of fun doing it, and they were a great bunch. Andy and I hit it off right away, and between Aaron and Andy, I never for a moment felt like the new kid on the block. After the Andy Griffith show, Melvin scooted over to Gomer Powell USMC, where he played the recurring role of Sergeant Charlie Hacker. He continued doing steady work on sitcoms, moving away from dramatic roles for good, as his voice work career uh, simultaneously picked up after voicing the popular cartoon character McGilla Gorilla. When Gober Powell ended in 69, the Brady Bunch welcomed Melvin as Sam the Butcher, who of course became Alice's eventual husband. Wasn't Sam wonderful, Andy Davis side in Television Academy interview? Alan Melvin, neat guy, very tall, she described him. He was just a nice, open, big guy, and it was fun to play with him. Most fans of the Brady Bunch know that after Melvin retired from on-screen roles, uh, after All on the Family ended in 83, uh, the Brady Bunch had to find a new Sam for a very Brady Christmas in 1988. Louis Arquette uh, was cast to fill in the role. Later, Davis told Television Academy that her, for her, that reunion just wasn't the same without the original Sam. I don't care how I acted, I knew that wasn't Sam, she said. Complaining even the actor's heights were dramatically different. Can you blame Alice for just wanting to be back in Sam's arms? 
<clears throat> Melvin was happy with the acting career he had, deciding to retire after playing prominent roles on a variety of popular sitcoms and voicing memorable cartoons for decades. Even though he never joined another cast after his first TV show, he carved a place for himself in the heart of great many fans. I'm a household face, he said, explaining that fans approach him all his life saying, Hey Henshaw, or Hey Sam the Butcher from the Brady Bunch. He humbly called his popularity among classic TV fans a cult thing. And there you go. I, his face was everywhere. Uh, a really good actor on the stuff he did back in the day. Uh, I thought he kind of hammed it up on All in the Family. I wasn't a huge fan of Barney. Huge fan of Alan, but not that character. Um, but uh, what a great job he did on the Andy Griffith show. I mean, very memorable. How many guys can go in there and play eight different car parts? And I mean, you notice it, but you don't really care. You don't really, you know, it's just neat. I liked it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope whoever asked for this, I'm sorry, I don't remember who you were, enjoyed this. Um, please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. It's on Alan Alda MASH. Classic rural comedy facts and trivia. It's on Hee Haw. Um, classic rock country music facts and trivia. Jelly Roll. I know he's not classic, but the story is. So you'll want to see that. Uh, please subscribe if you have not yet. Please like this video. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. God bless. I'm praying for you.